welcome to my uh, message for October. The first thing I want to talk to you about this month is the CQC. And I've spoken to you before about the CQC. And as you know, we had a full inspection in March 2014. And although the conclusion of that was really positive, um, we didn't get an official rating because we were a pilot for the new method they were testing out on mental health trusts. So the CQC has now said that all of the trusts that went through the pilot stage need to go through another full inspection and get an official rating. And I've had information this week that they've confirmed the visit will take place in the week commencing the 14th of March 2016. Might sound a long time away, but it isn't really. Um, delivering safe, effective, caring, responsive and well-led services is really at the heart of everything we do. Um, and although we can expect an unannounced inspection at any time, this scheduled inspection I think really gives us a, a, a great opportunity to show the good practice and all the hard work that we provide at this trust. I've set up a programme for us to prepare for the actual visit and I'll be discussing this in more detail at the next Senior Leadership Conference. In the next few weeks you will get a lot of information about what to expect at the visit and how we can help every team and every service really show these inspectors the good services that we provide. So you will have all by now received the, this year's National Patient Staff Survey. And again, can I please encourage you to complete this survey? It won't take more than 20 minutes. I've done my own. Uh, and it really helps us to understand what staff are thinking, uh, what's important for staff, uh, and how we are providing a good experience for staff at work. Now the survey is uh, undertaken by an independent organisation and I can assure you that it's absolutely completely confidential. Anything that you put on that survey will not be seen by anyone from the Trust. Only the results that are compiled across all of the staff responses. On to another survey, I've just received the results of this year's Community Patients Survey and some of you might have seen this report in the national media. Now I'm currently looking at all the results in detail, but I'm really pleased to say that the overall score for patient satisfaction in our services has improved from last year and we are now rated as the best mental health trust in terms of patient experience in London. And I'll publish the full report in the next week on the internet uh, and I'd encourage you to look at it and see uh, just what pa patients who use our services think about us. One of the other things I wanted to update you about was meetings that I've had this week with a number of MPs at the House of Commons um, and this was to really discuss the importance of good mental health services. There are MPs from both Conservative and Labour Party um, and including the new Shadow Minister for Mental Health, Luciana Berger. So I spent most of the day with MPs and discussed the need to protect and to grow mental health services also the pressures that we're facing, both locally and nationally. And of course, I took that opportunity to tell, us, tell them about some of the great services that we provide here. I also had a meeting this week with two local MPs, Zach Goldsmith and Tanya Mathers, to discuss issues in Richmond. And the Chairman and I will be meeting with MPs from across the rest of the Trust in the next few weeks to keep them updated on issues about mental health services. So one of the things I know from last year's staff survey results and uh, the work that we've done on listening to action conversations is that staff feel that we need to do better at supporting uh, those who maybe experience bullying or harassment or violence at work. And as part of our ongoing commitment to try and uh, improve this, we can now offer a new service for all staff and family members, um, free access to emotional and practical support through an organisation called CIC uh, and they offer, uh, they're an, an independent organisation completely confidential of the trust uh, and you can access their care line as often, as long as you need to discuss any issues that you may have at work but also issues that you have uh, at home, stress, uh, family life and CIC can offer you uh, counselling over the telephone or even face-to-face -face counselling uh, if that's what you feel uh, would be more uh, helpful. So there's information on the website now about how you can contact them. Um, 
by ringing a number or logging onto a website. So if you feel that you need that, please look out for that on the website and take advantage of it. So thank you for watching this uh, short video message. As ever, if anyone wants to contact me about anything, you can do uh, by email and I will read what you have to say and I'll look into issues that you raise. Thank you.